Hi guys, um, today I'm going to attempt to change the spark plugs in my ZX12 and hopefully that will rectify this fucking not running on one and three cylinders. Um, the bike's rough, I'll be honest with you. I have, I've had it about seven or eight years and I'll 100% hold my hand up, I've not done any work on it at all, which is a shame really. Um, it's about time I did do. I mean, you can see, look. Look how rusty that is, stuff like that. Um, I've, I've not even washed it, which is it's, it's terrible. So, um, anyway, I mean, look at the state of my brake calipers. That's just horrendous, isn't it? I, I, I really do need to give it a right good fucking. I need to strip it down and give it a right good clean. I do, honestly, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, I've unplugged all the wires. Um, then you can see there, there's the stick coils. There's a, a stupid rubber flap thing there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to rip, rip it off. I'm going to ram it in there and get it out of the way there. So you can see the coils there, look. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll try and get a plug out and see if... Uh, See if that rectifies the problem. I bloody hope so because um, I have just nowhere to work on the bike. I can only do it when it's not raining, so I'm taking a gamble now trying to do it. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway, we need to just get cracked on, don't I? And just see if I can change the plugs and away we go. So, what I'll do is I'll get the first plug out and then I'll show you what it's like. So I've got the first plug out now, um, you can't really see down there but anyway, and that's what it looks like, um, I'm actually surprised, I thought it'd be a lot worse but anyway, I don't know what Um, I'm still going to change them anyway, I might as well because, you know, sorry this camera is rubbish when it gets close up. So anyway, that's the first plug, so what I'll do is I'll put the, I'll put the new one back in um, and I'll just, in fact, let me get the new one now. Two minutes. So, uh, the new ones I've gone for, they were quite dear, they were like, I think it was about six, just under 70 quid. So the new one is a CR9 EK PA. Oh, that's the same. CR9 EK PA. Right. So we shall uh, put the new one in then. Right, that's number two plug out. Um, that looks exactly the same as number one. They do look oily. In fact, there is a bit of fucking oil there, look. But anyway, that was a bit of a pain because try to get your hand under there. As you can see, one hand nearly fills that all up. Um, but anyway. So this is the new plug I'm going to be putting in. Oh, mucking it already. Right. I don't know where that oil's coming from. But anyway. Right. Two seconds. Right, that's number two back in and all the wires connected back up and that rubber flap thing put down there so what I'll do now is I'll turn the bike round and then I'll do number three and four right the bike turned round 
and this one doesn't look to be as cluttered to be honest with you so it might be a bit easier so that's what it's like before um, I'll remove all these wires and shit and pull that back and then I'll show you what it's like just before I take the plug out right what I've done is I've just quickly taken this ram air pipe off um, the clutch cable I can't really do it with but the other the others I've taken, my, taken it out of that bracket there which is rusty um, the cables the wiring harness the other bits there look what I've just shipped over there and I've just quickly cable tied it away which gives me a lot more room now there's still the choke cable there that rubber flap thing I've just done it over the choke cable um, so now I can get to you know I should be able to get my hand in there now um, I can certainly get to number four anyway so I'll get this in out and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at it so this is number four plug look at the state of that motherfucker that is ridiculous isn't it so now I think it was one and three that weren't firing but two and four were so <laughs> I've no idea but anyway that's number four so I'm going to put that back in and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll film getting number three out right number three out and I must admit that was tricky um, the hardest thing was getting this fucking thing out so but anyway what I found out to do was that was a stick inside it's sort of like angle it like that and then pull it up towards maybe number one throttle body and then you can just feel it come in and then you just sort of like twist it like that and it comes out so I shall put number three in and then uh, see how it goes right that's number th three plugged back in and this is the stick coil for number three so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into number four and then I'm going to put number four into number three and then if the problem still occurs with one and three then I know the stick coils are all right if the problem moves to one and four I know it's the coil the coils I think so anyway that's my plan so as you can see try to get that fucker back into there is anyway I'll be back in a minute right without question the hardest one was number three definitely but everything's back on now um, back in place the new plugs are in uh, whoever's done this before has snapped that uh, that plastic thing it wasn't me if it had been me I'd have said so but uh, never mind uh, the other thing I've noticed is my throttle if I open the throttle and let go it stays oh no there look that needs a proper grease doesn't it so you've literally got to push it back with your hand god that is so stiff I really need to um... get that sorted anyway uh, I'm going to put the battery on now and we'll start it up and see if that rectifies the problem god I hope and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of, I'm just going to smudge a tiny bit of grease on just so I can see if it's um, firing or not. Right, I'll be back into when I put the battery on. Right, battery's on. And if you look there, I've just shoved a tiny smither of grease on each downpipe. Uh, and obviously if it starts smoking, then I know it's firing. But I should be able to tell anyway from the fucking... From the sound of it you see there's no the f light the f1 light or fi light whatever you call it is not flashing so i don't know what the hell's going on but anyway here goes fingers crossed oh my god it's done it oh what a relief that is Wow. 
what a relief. So it looks like it was the plugs after all. Thank God for that. Oh, oh, <laughs> I've never been so excited to hear a bike run. Oh, gosh, that is such a relief. I think it's the start to smoke now, look. I think you can just tell from the sound anyway that, uh, that it's sorted. Oh. God, I'm so happy. Right, the reason it's smoking down there, like I say, is because I've had to do So ignore that, that'll be burn off. Right, I'll try and knock the choke off. I'm going to try and knock the choke off. So, my firing problem, cylinders one and three, was because of the spark plugs. I really need to clean this bag. It's, oh, I'm embarrassed. Right. Excellent guys, so changing the spark plugs has resolved that problem. Right, so it's for a blast around the yard, and yep, it's sorted. So the next thing I need to do is put all the fairing back on, because obviously that needs to put it back on, so all the fairings need to put it back on, and then uh, I'm going to go out for a fucking blast next weekend, I think. Got it. And then, 100% next year, the baby's going to get stripped down and totally cleaned up. And I mean it. The front end's going to come off. I'm going to do the forks, the wheels, the swinging arms coming off. Everything. But I'm going to have to rent a garage to do that. I can't do it down here. So I need, I need a workshop or something. But anyway, I'm definitely going to do it. So, yeah, I'm over the moon now. That's sorted. So that's better. I better not move it too wide. I don't want to wake anybody up. Yeah, so, sorted. Um, like I say, I need to give it a proper good fucking service and I mean a proper good service everything so what I'm going to do is the oil filter I might change the oil filter and the oil the exhaust stuff I'm going to leave that for now um, I'm just going to clean it up but I'm going to go for a blast on it next week um, I think so what I'll do is I'll knock off and that's it guys, so change the spark plugs, job done.